Emmett. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last episode, I was able to cure a severe cylinder two misfire and a pretty significant oil burning issue on a two liter turbo. That was my 2010 Audi A4, which I've uh, since then sold because the car now ran fine. But at the end of the episode, uh, I kind of promised you that I was gonna try to do this on another two liter turbo because one data point does not really help us determine whether this method is actually a pretty effective way of dealing with uh, oil burning on these motors. Now, lucky for me, two liter turbos burning oil are a dime a dozen. And um, I was able to get my hands on this 2010 Audi Q5 with the exact same engine as my 2010 Audi A4. It's a two liter turbo, same configuration, everything is the same. This particular car is a few hundred kilometers shy of 200,000 kilometers. It was a single owner vehicle before my sister bought it. Lots and lots of maintenance records Turbo was replaced under warranty, uh, timing chains were done. So, so it's generally a very well-maintained car. However, uh, once we bought it, we quickly realized that this motor is burning an insane amount of oil, which obviously the previous owner did not disclose. Naturally, we're now stuck with it. There's nothing you can do about it. The car is definitely out of warranty, so Audi's not gonna do anything about this. As you have probably done as well, if you're dealing with this kind of issue, we've taken it to a few mechanics to talk about this. I've spent many hours on uh, the internet trying to look for solutions. And the most obvious solution is to rebuild the motor with new pistons and new piston rings. So the issue is the piston rings get clogged up with soot and they stop sealing the cylinder walls. So oil that gets into the cylinder basically does not uh, go down back into the oil pan. It just kind of burns inside the cylinder. Now, if your vehicle was under 100,000 kilometers, so you're under warranty, and Audi was able to prove that uh, you're actually burning more oil than the specification, which by the way is ridiculous at one liter per thousand kilometers, then they will do this service um, under warranty, right? So they're gonna you know, rebuild your motor, new pistons, new rings. If you were to take this to a shop to do it for you, you're looking anywhere from, I guess, two to three, four thousand dollars depending on the components you're gonna be replacing. Not the kind of money anybody wants to spend on a car that is really worth only about ten to twelve thousand dollars. That's a significant amount of money. So today I'm going to try and fix this engine with the same method we used in the previous episode. That is a piston soak with B12 Chem 2. On this car, I'm only dealing with oil burning, so I'm going to do a single stage, 24-hour B12 Chem 2 piston soak, and see if anything changes. Before I start, what I've done so far is sort of baseline the consumption. Now this car smokes a lot. Like it's very obvious when you're driving behind it big puffs of smoke, um, you know, when you accelerate, whatever it is, even on startup is the same thing. I opened it up, the spark plugs were horrendous. However, it looked like they were original, so that's probably just a wear and tear item. On top of that, I saw oil all around the coils on at least two of the cylinders, which suggests that the valve cover gasket is leaking and it's probably gonna have to be redone. That's for a separate video, we're not gonna be doing that. And the car burns one liter of oil every 580 kilometers, which if you're doing oil changes, say every 5,000 kilometers, which is way less than the recommended 10,000 or 15,000 kilometers, you're killing 10 liters of oil for every oil change. In fact, I don't even know what oil you're changing because by the time you get to replacing the filter, you've already gone through the oil twice inside the car. I also changed the compression. The numbers are not exactly perfect, but they are reasonable. So we're gonna keep an eye on that and see if the B12 soak is actually going to fix the compression on that one cylinder. So the process is pretty straightforward. Add a little bit of B12 every six hours, turn the crank to make sure that the liquid goes around as much as possible. And at 24 hours, run the engine for about 10, 15 minutes with the B12 in it to sort of really do an engine flush, change the oil, new oil, new filter, and hope for the best. That's about it. Let's go see if it works. see again oil this is cylinder number three we 
you want to do is you want to get the pistons somewhere around the middle of the stroke. So what I like to do is use these extensions which go through the spark plug holes and basically rest on the pistons to see where piston one and two sort of level off with each other. Now we rotate the crank until they're at about the same level. Right around there. So now the two pistons are on the same level. The oil level warning light came on yesterday on the motor, which means I'm about a liter short of full, which is great because I'm gonna use two cans of Berryman's, which are about 450 milliliters each. So we're gonna go right up to full before we run the sort of engine flush after the piston soak. What I've done here is mark off about 100 milliliters on the jar. So I'm gonna split the first can equally between all four cylinders, let it cook for the first six hours. And then I'm gonna to keep topping it off with the second can until we go through the 24 hour cycle. And that's it, simple as that. We're gonna let this sit for six hours, turn the crank, top it up, let it sit for six hours, and so on. So all the liquid's gone at 12 hours. So now we're gonna add some more and rotate the crank again. I started the car, behaved the exact same way as the A4 did. It had a very hard time starting in the beginning. Once it did, heavy white smoke and misfiring um, for the first 10 minutes or so. 
But after that, it cleared up pretty good. I drove it for about half an hour, waited for the engine to warm up. This time around, I let the engine run a little bit longer and I actually drove the car with the two cans of B12 inside because frankly, I really wanted to do a proper um, flush of the motor there. So the car ran fine, no misfires, didn't have any problems. Didn't seem like it was smoking by the time I came back. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drain the oil, have a look at kind of what it looks like, do the compression check on the four pistons again, and just fill it up with new synthetic oil, new filter, and you know, call it a day. And from here on out, we have to record the uh, new oil consumption after the treatment and see if we actually got any improvement over the one liter per 580 kilometer um, sort of mark. Clearly the flush process is, you know, it's doing its job. Now, one thing that's kind of concerning me is a little bit like it feels like it's got almost like sandpaper particles. It does not feel smooth. So I'm not really sure what what's really coming out with this. I guess I'd have to send it out for analysis to see if there's really any shavings in here. It's hard to see on the camera, but like if you look inside, you can see sort of particles, but anyways, I mean the B12 breaks down a lot of garbage. So I'm not really surprised to see stuff inside the oil. Hopefully with the flush that will go away and will be captured by the filter. By the way, much better looking spark plugs. All right, here we go. Oil level is good. So what we're gonna do now is zero the odometer. And we're gonna have to keep an eye on this to see really did we have any improvement or not. All right guys, I was hoping to get to a thousand kilometers so we can verify the Volkswagen spec, but the car is about to head out on a long trip and I wanted to make sure everything was good before that. Um, we're at 820 kilometers right now, as you can see on the odometer there. And we've lost basically no oil, um, which is an incredible difference from what this was. Like I was saying originally, the car was losing the entire liter of oil in less than 600 kilometers. So at 820, we've got no oil left. So obviously this piston soak did a phenomenal job. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get through an entire oil change without really losing any oil. This seems to suggest we're going to be okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check back in at 5,000 kilometers when I'm going to do the next oil change. And we're going to see if we lost any uh, oil at all and see how effective truly this um, business work was. The reality is this car has transformed from sort of undrivable, unsellable, uh, needing you know $3,000 worth of work to more or less no issues because at this point it's not really burning any oil. Um, and I wouldn't have any problem passing this on to um, another buyer if I had to. So that's the checkup for now. Uh, we're going to see how we're going to do later on. And um, I'm going to post another video at 5,000 kilometers when I do another oil change. We're going to take a look and see the, what the oil looks like and really what the longer term um, effects of that were. And there we have it, folks. That's another 2-liter turbo saved at the cost of 
20 bucks and an oil change. Uh, this B12 stuff is phenomenal. Uh, I'm two for two now. Both vehicles that we treated with this were more or less doomed. The A4 had a massive misfire. and was burning, basically pissing oil out the exhaust. Uh, and the Q5 was burning a liter of oil every 500, 550 kilometers or so. And now both vehicles are back on the road with barely any signs that uh, they were burning oil before that to begin with. So to sum up, if you have a modern day engine that's burning a lot of oil because of seized oil rings, low friction piston rings used by the manufacturer, and every shop out there is telling you it's gonna cost you two, three, five thousand dollars to repair this because they have to replace pistons and piston rings, you've got nothing to lose. This is 20 bucks, takes 24 hours if you wanna do it the right way, if you're not rushing. You can synchronize it with an oil change so you're not really wasting oil either. So, you know, next time you have an oil change, you do a piston soak, 24 hours later, who knows, maybe your car stops burning oil and now you've got yourself another couple of years of running the same motor. This problem is not isolated to the Volkswagen Audi 2 liter turbo motor. Um, I've seen plenty of stories of other manufacturers' engines more or less doing the same thing, uh, getting the exact same stories from the manufacturers, such as, yeah, that's normal, you know, burning a lot of oil is, is fine. It's not fine. These uh, low friction piston rings are sort of a, a, a compromise to try and reduce consumption on the motors, but now you're stuck with the oil burning issues, um, dirty exhaust pipes and all that sort of stuff. In any case, if you guys burning engine oil, give this a try. I am personally extremely surprised by the results, but both cars basically show the exact same thing. The piston soak may actually save you thousands and thousands of dollars. We're gonna wrap this one here. As I promised, I'm gonna check in with the Q5 at 5,000 kilometers when the next oil change is actually due. I'm gonna see how much oil it actually went through for those uh, 5,000 kilometers. We're gonna see what the oil looks like and uh, you know, I'm gonna post another short update for that. But for now, if you like what you see, click a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, click subscribe. If you have any questions about the piston soak process, if you've done it and you've been successful, by all means, comment below. I'd love to hear your stories. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.